everyone welcome to my channel crochet rainbows and butterflies today we're going to learn how to crochet this flower coaster for this tutorial I'm using crochet hook 3 millimeters you can use any crochet yarn but for this tutorial I'm using crochet 4 ply cotton yarn and I've used two colors so let's get started we begin with a slip knot And once you have your slip knot, you need to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Once you have your chain of six, you work a slip stitch in the first chain right here. Now, once you work your slip stitch, you will have a ring here. We are going to work the next row in this ring. Now for the next row, you begin with chain 3. This will be counted as a first double crochet of this row. Now in this ring, you need to work 15 double crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5 and continue till you finish working 15 double crochets. I've completed working 15 double crochets. Now counting the first chain 3, you need to have 16 stitches. Now to complete this row, you work a slip stitch in the first chain 3 that you started this row with. And now you chain one and cut your yarn. We're going to change the color for the next row. Now the next color you need to join it in the same stitch that you completed your previous row right here. You join your color and to start the row we chain three. One, two and three. This will be counted as a first double crochet of this row. In the same stitch, you work one double crochet. In the next stitch, you work one double crochet. Chain one. In the next stitch, two double crochets. One and two. In the next stitch, one double crochet. Chain one. In the next stitch, two double crochets. One and two. In the next stitch, one double crochet. Chain one again. In the next stitch, two double crochets. 1 and 2 and in the next stitch 1 double crochet you need to continue working this pattern chain 1 in the next stitch 2 double crochets in the next stitch 1 double crochet again chain 1 in the next stitch 2 double crochets in the next stitch 1 double crochet Continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row. After you complete your row, you need to join it with a slip stitch into the first chain 3 that you started this row with. Now for the next row, you chain 3. This will be counted as a first double crochet of this row. In the same stitch, you work 1 double crochet. In the next stitch, you work one double crochet and in the next stitch two double crochets one and two so you have five double crochets here counting the first one as a double crochet the first chain three you need to have five stitches chain one you skip the chain space 
now you have three double crochets here in the first one you work two double crochets one and two in the second one one double crochet and in the third one two double crochets one and two now again you need to have five double crochets chain one skip the chain space repeat again you have three double crochets here in the first one two double crochets one and two in the second one one double crochet and in the third one two double crochets one and two chain one and you need to continue repeating this pattern till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch into the first chain three of this row now for the next row you chain three this will be counted as a first double crochet of this row in the same stitch you work one double crochet in the next three stitches you work one double crochet in each one two and three and the fifth one here the fifth double crochet right into that you work two double crochets one and two chain one we're going to repeat this you have five double crochets here in the first one you work two double crochets one and two in the next three you work one double crochet in each stitch one two and three and in the fifth one right here you work two double crochets so you're working two double crochets in the first and the last double crochet that's the first and the fifth double crochet chain one again you have five double crochets in the first one two double crochets in the next three you work one double crochet in each and in the fifth one you work two double crochets continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch into the first chain three now to start the next row you chain two in the same stitch you work one double crochet in the next stitch we are going to work a triple crochet for that you yarn over twice insert your hook into the stitch yarn over pull through you have four loops on your hook yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through last two loops that's your triple crochet now in the next stitch you work one double crochet and in the same stitch you work a half double crochet now to work a half double crochet you yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch yarn over pull through you have three loops on your hook you need to yarn over pull through all three loops in the next stitch you need to work a slip stitch in the next stitch you work a slip stitch now we're going to repeat this in these three stitches so we start with chain two in the same stitch 
वन डबल क्रोशे इन द नेक्स्ट स्टिच अ ट्रिपल क्रोशे अगेन फॉर अ ट्रिपल क्रोशे यू यान ओवर ट्वाइस इंसर्ट योर हुक इन टू द स्टिच यान ओवर पुल थ्रू यू हैव फोर लूप्स ऑन योर हुक यान ओवर पुल थ्रू टू लूप्स यान ओवर पुल थ्रू टू लूप्स यान ओवर पुल थ्रू लास्ट टू लूप्स In the next double crochet, you work one double crochet and a half double crochet in the same stitch. Now, to work a half double crochet, you yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through. All three loops. In the chain space, you work a slip stitch. Now we are going to continue repeating this pattern over these double crochets. So first, you start with a slip stitch in the next stitch. That's the first double crochet right here. Chain two. In the same stitch, one double crochet. In the next stitch, one triple crochet. In the next stitch, one double crochet. And in the same stitch, a half double crochet. In the next stitch, you work a slip stitch. In the next stitch, a slip stitch. And again, chain two. In the same stitch, one double crochet. In the next stitch, one triple crochet. In the next stitch, one double crochet in the same stitch one half double crochet now we've reached the chain space here in the chain space you work a slip stitch and in the next stitch you work a slip stitch you need to continue repeating this pattern till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row, you need to work a slip stitch into the first stitch right here where you started this row. Now you chain one and cut your yarn. You're going to change the color for the next row. Now the next color, we are going to join it into the first stitch where you have your chain two, one and two right here. In the second chain, you join your yarn and you work a single crochet right into that stitch. Now you work a single crochet in the next four stitches. One two, three and four. Now you have your slip stitch right here. You need to pull up a yarn through this double crochet. In the previous row you have a double crochet here. It is one, two, three, four, the fourth double crochet. Insert your hook right into that pull up a loop through that double crochet right on top and you work your single crochet 
now again you work single crochet in the next five stitches now the next stitch if you see it will not be next to your single crochet you again have a chain two right here you need to work a single crochet in the second chain you need to remember that you have chain two right here or else you will have extra stitches so that's one two three four and five after you complete the five double crochets you have a space between the two petals you have this space where you have your first chains now into the second one this is the first chain this is the second one you need to insert your hook right under that and pull up a loop and you work a single crochet I'll do that again you need to insert your hook into the second chain space here and pull up a loop nice and long and you work your single crochet now again you work one single crochet in the next five stitches you need to remember that you have chain two in the first one and you work your single crochet in the second chain one two three four and five now you reach the center of the petal you need to work a single crochet but before that you pull up your yarn through the double crochet like we've done in this stitch you go into the double crochet of the previous row the fourth double crochet pull up your yarn and complete your single crochet again one single crochet in the next five stitches one two three four and five now we've reached the chain space you need to go into the second chain space pull up a loop a long loop and complete your single crochet and you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch into the first single crochet of this row and now you chain one and cut your yarn now you need to work in your loose ends we've completed working the flower coaster I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and happy crocheting.